We're now going to look at the theory of special relativity. The theory of special relativity is deceptively simple. It's based on just two postulates. But before we consider what those postulates are, let's consider why the theory of special relativity is special. So it's special because it only holds in inertial frames of reference. So an inertial frame of reference is one in which Newton's laws of motion hold. So, so far in this course, we've been considering inertial frames of reference. The Earth is an inertial frame of reference as long as we neglect its rotation. If we work really hard, we can contrive an example of a non-inertial frame. So for example, if we imagine that we are a person inside a blacked out train and we know nothing about the outside world. If that train then starts to accelerate and we place a ball on the table, the ball is going to look like it is moving without any external forces applied. Of course, from outside, we know that there are forces applied to make the train accelerate, but inside the train's frame of reference, it appears that the ball is moving without any forces. So this would be a non-inertial frame of reference. So let's look at the postulates now. So there's just two of these. The first of these tells us that the laws of physics are the same for all observers in all inertial frames of reference and that there is not one preferred frame. So a consequence of this postulate is that we can't do an experiment to tell how quickly a frame is moving. If we could, we'd be able to tell how quickly it was moving relative to something. And what's that something? Well, that something would be a preferred frame. So we can't do an experiment to get an absolute speed at which we are traveling. The second postulate tells us that the speed of light has the same value C in all directions and in all reference frames. So consequence of this postulate is that the Galilean transforms cannot be correct. So let's imagine that we are in the S frame and we turn on a light. The light is going to travel out, we'll turn it on at t equals zero to make everything simple. The front of the light ray travels out at speed c, so we can describe this if it's traveling in the x direction as x is equal to ct. Now let's consider that we're in another frame, s prime, moving with a speed u relative to the s frame. In this case, according to the Galilean transform, we can write x prime is equal to x minus ut, but x was equal to ct. So we can write this as x prime is equal to ct minus ut. So now we can work out the speed of our light beam in the primed frame. To get the speed, we just differentiate. So the speed in the primed frame, v prime, is equal to dx prime dt, which is equal to c minus u. And this is not equal to c, so this does not obey the postulate. So this tells us that the Galilean transforms cannot be the correct transformations within the theory of special relativity.